leaving. Inside. Where are we leaving? Palmetto State Park. Nope. That's Park. a Texas park. Palmetto Island State oh. Park. Oh, there's a Palmetto State Park in Texas? There is a Palmetto State Park hmm. in Texas. But, but it wasn't an island. <laughs> You're asking me way too many questions. Maybe this. Maybe the visitor center would have told us that. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. But we are leaving Palmetto Island State Park. If you haven't watched the video where we stayed there, that was last week. Go ahead and watch that. But anyway, this morning we are heading out. I say morning loosely because it's four minutes before 11 o'clock. It's still morning. Yeah, barely. It's morning. <laughs> Check-in at Buccaneer State Park, where we're heading next, is not until 4 p.m., which is the latest check-in I can remember at any campground that we've been to, really. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's others, but I mean this is a first first for us. So Buccaneer sounds like a fun place just by the name of it. Well, there is a water park at Buccaneer. It's probably a little early in the year for the water park to be open, I would guess. The splash pad was open at Palmetto Island State Park. Hey, you need to get over that one. <laughs> We're moving I, on. I said island. <laughs> yeah, but you you're, you're still talking about it. We're, we're moving on from that state We can't park. talk about, oh, okay. Yeah, Once yeah, we've gone moving, to a place, we yeah, can't remember You, you got to move on. You can't, you can't <laughs> think about it anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> I Bucket, thought you called this a memory machine. Yeah, the machine keeps the memories. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Buccaneer State Park, it's right on the Gulf Coast in Mississippi. Never been there. We have stayed down the street from there at a casino campground when we were just doing a quick overnighter. Oh, okay. So it's close to there. It is pretty close to Wait there. Wait a minute. Aren't we over that? <laughs> we should, why are you remembering this? I'm remembering what? <laughs> it's in Waveland, Mississippi. Uh, there are two from... I'm pulling this off of memory here. What? Um, <laughs> Sorry. There are two parts to this state park and one part is up along the road where you can where you can see the Gulf and the other part is more of your traditional type state park back behind the water park. We are staying up by the road because we're inlanders. We don't get to witness salt water a whole lot so we still think it's really awesome yep <coughs> this is only a two night stay i believe there's a disc golf course there if there is we might take advantage of it because i don't know that there's a whole lot more to do um, there is that casino but last time we were through Waveland, there just wasn't anything to wander around and look at unless you wanted to spy on the people that lived there. That's creepy. It is kind of creepy. So, it is, uh, we're, we're, we're hitting the road. We've got a four, five hour, four hour drive ahead of us, maybe five. It's pretty through here. So you can probably see it on the other camera there, right? Yeah. We got all sorts of cameras and hopefully today they're working. Right now we're we're black shadows in the camper. That's alright. I can fix that. Okay.
really doesn't like this lighting. Close your shade. You tell me what to do. Let me tell you what to do. I think that's a little bit better. So, Buccaneer State Park. Eh. Of course, a little caveat here. The wind has been blowing. And we're from Oklahoma. And when we say the wind has been blowing, that means the wind's been blowing. I think last night it was steady winds of 21 miles per hour. And with gusts up to... 35 or 40 something like that when you open the camper door it would grab it yeah yeah you had to have a firm you you, you had to commit <laughs> as they used to say in soccer <laughs> you have to commit they might still say that they may still say <laughs> that but i'm old so things have changed they may have changed the terms <laughs> but anyway buccaneer state park this is a summer campground it has a water park a small-ish water park, but it's a state park. I mean, you wouldn't expect something... I, I actually would call it a big water park for a state park. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. almost the size... Yeah, I mean, I mean it's a... got a wave pool. It's got a kitty area. It's got a couple of water slides. I don't think it has a lazy river. I could be wrong. And they also have a smaller pool at the other side of the campground. Um, it's a big pool too. Yeah, that's really. It, but big. it's like a wait. They call it a wading pool, so I don't know how yeah. deep it is. But um, as far as the campground layout, you have up front the beachfront or oceanfront ocean view campsites. Is that what they call it? I I, I think they might call it golf, ocean view. Because not really view. ocean. Hmm. But um, they have those up front that run along the highway here. You really don't notice a traffic noise. I'm, well, I mean, part of that is probably because the wind. of the wind, but <laughs> who knows. And then you have the normal, what you expect to see at a state park type layout back back deeper off, off of the coast. It's very nice back there. It is nice back there. And it is half the price of the ones up front. Is it? Wow. <laughs> uh, I will have to say, yeah, I mean, I... There, there, are, there were a few things that I splurged on on this trip, and this was one of them because we like the water. And, it's, you know, everybody knows there's peaceful. It just uh, There's a calming effect that large bodies of water provide humans, which is why humans live along the coast. Mm -hmm. So I splurged, and I'll have to tell you, not worth it. Really not. I mean, yeah, we've got the ocean right outside the front door. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really cool. But we've stayed at another place right yeah. down the road, actually. Yeah, we stayed at we stayed at a uh, a casino, the Silver Slipper Casino, just right down the street from here, for almost half the price of this site right here. And it was exact same. It was right across same, the same view. Yeah. Um, and. I think they actually had picnic tables. This place does not have a picnic table. Yeah. And there's no beach. I mean, I'm yeah. sure you'll see. No, you got the seawall right yeah. here across the street. And you can go to a beach. And one thing I love about Mississippi is dogs are allowed on the beach. Leash dogs are allowed on the beach. Pick up after them. Um, pick up something else even that somebody left. But to, you know, make it even for appreciation that they let your dogs out there. But that part was fun. But you do have to walk. You have to find a little beach a little man-made yeah. beach i guess i don't know what they are but um either direction you can walk to one but you can bring your dogs and that that was really fun yeah. but could have done that also if we'd stayed in the back so i don't know <laughs> there is a disc golf Mm -hmm. course here it's a little nature trail and we forgot to do that yeah well those yellow flies oh well, yeah if yeah. you go walking around out here bug spray you know, hold yourself down with bug spray, take a fogger with you, and one of those pump-up things so you can <laughs> spray them when they're coming at you. Do you get a discount to, to go to the water park if you I, I don't know. I, 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 I'll have to look at that if I find out, this and maybe I'll just right put now. it right across the bottom of the screen here, because it is closed right now. Mm -hmm. It's it's technically off-season, although today, my gosh, it's already warming up. Um, 
the check-in was 4 p.m. I don't know. I think I mentioned that earlier. I don't know that I've ever come across one that was 4 p.m. But we pull, pulled in, parked at the site, and I took the Jeep up to the park office to check in, expecting the normal check-in package, and all I got was a car tag. So no park map or anything like that. Um, no rules, anything? Yeah, nothing. Hmm. So I had to get online to check that out. And maybe during the summer, get a site at the back of the park where the normal area is. It'd be fun. And, and I mean, really, it, it would be fun out here with the water park and the pool and the disc golf. Yeah. And this and was that. okay. Honestly, I think and there's not very many trash cans either. But I think the main, which I mean, it's not too uncommon. But I think the main issue is the price Yeah. for what we got. $95 for a no, night. No picnic table. Full hookups. I mean, nice concrete pad. Yeah. Um, and the e everything, come driving around. Well, everything is fairly new here because this place was, we're in the area that was leveled by a hurricane many, many years ago. Apparently the water park even was. Yeah, so a lot of new facilities and new, um, you know, the hookups and all that is, is new. So it's a nice state park, but don't pay the premium for the golf front sites. It's it's not worth it. It's still cool. It is, yeah. No, but I, not, I'm, not worth I'm it. not saying it wasn't nice. It was really <laughs> cool to go out there and sit down on my chair at dusk with my Kindle in my hand, reading a book, and just enjoying that peaceful sound of the waves, you know. Not worth ninety-five bucks, but it was it was nice. Thank it was you. really nice. But that's going to close it out for Buccaneer State Park in Mississippi. Hope you enjoyed the video. We will catch you all down the trail.